Were yeah. you a funny kid? No. Did you make the other kids laugh? No, no, no. I was terrible. I was very, very... If anything, I was probably too good looking. <laughs> if anything, I was probably did, too did pretty. You, but your father, your father was a funny man. I, he, that's he, why they call me. My, my real name is Kenneth. Kenneth Tuesday Dodd. Go on, why? Why? Kenneth Tuesday Dodd. Because, well, when I was born, my mother and father took one look at me and said, oh, God, I think we'll call it a day. <laughs> <laughs> but, but and I had a lovely mother and father, a lovely brother yeah. and sister, Billy and June, and I had a great place to live in Nottyash, mm. with fields all around, and, oh, it was a wonderful childhood. My hobbies were lighting fires, climbing trees, and burning a hole in my coat. Did your dad tell you jokes? Yes, you say he was, always. A was he a funny man just very, in very. his that's, way? That's how I learned to tell jokes. I learned t the, this wonderful, mysterious thing called timing. You hear people talk about, oh, this he's got timing, his timing is wonderful. This diff different comedians. Well, I, I, I've more or less learned it at, at, my, at my father's knee. You know, right. he had a funny knee. <laughs> and, uh, but his timing, he, the way he could tell a joke, the intonation and the time. If you want to know what timing is, now people talk about this word timing. Listen to someone like Frank Sinatra or Perry Como, the way they time the f each phrase in the song. Because sometimes you're not just telling a joke, you don't just tell a joke, you sing the joke. And you know, the, the words have got to be the exact amount of words, the rhythm's got to be right, and you've got to know which words to emphasise, which words to play down. That's timing. Mm. And I learned that. I learned that quite just, just naturally when I was a little boy from my dad just telling jokes. Did you remember his jokes? Yeah. Did you ever use any of them? I'm still using some of them. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's one particular joke I do in my act. I do it in, in, one, in one of my acts. And I tell it, and do you know something? It, it gets a huge laugh. And all, every night I think, hmm. But you think of your dad when you tell it every time? Yes. That's lovely. He, he, he must have been very proud when he saw that you could make people laugh and, and, and you know. Be a comedian. It must have been fantastic for him. If he, I don't if know if he been fantastic. I think he would rather have helped him out on the coal round. Uh, right. coal, coal round. No, of course he was. A, uh, I had the I had the privilege, I had the wonderful thrill of when I was at the Palladium, having my mother and father in the audience, particularly for the any of the Royal Variety shows I did. Uh. Yeah, I used to get them tickets, yeah. and they actually saw, uh, they saw their Kenny on the stage saying, by Jove, ha ha, how tickled I am, Your Majesty. Mm. Yeah. That's fantastic. But well, today... That was one of the greatest things and memories I've ever had. I, haven't got, yeah. I wish I had a picture of that. Oh, oh, yeah. I, I played, a, I played the, uh, the, the Royal Household Christmas party, the Christmas party they have every year at, the, at Windsor Castle. And we all went along there, the big orchestra and, and lots of acts, you know. And uh, I'm singing, and just, just a room about, about as big as this, with all fabulous oil paintings around the walls and the Queen is just there, the Queen is there, in, just in front of it, but within six feet of you. And she's sitting in a, in a gilded sort of uh, chair and I'm singing happiness, happiness, the greatest gift. And as I'm looking at her, her, her hands on the chair, on the arm, they're going. <laughs> sure. And that's it, now, an abiding memory. I shall remember that forever. Mm.